how to run automated tests on GitLab CI and leverage parallelization to run your tests much faster. I will show you an example for the Ruby and JavaScript projects, how you can run parallel GitLab runners and split your tests among parallel jobs. To do that, we would need to configure the GitLab CI YAML configuration file that allows you to run parallel jobs. And take a look at example for the um, Ruby on Race project. Uh, GitLab CI YAML file looks like this for my project. Basically, I'm using Ruby image as a base image to, to run my tests in. I use Postgres database. I have configured some environment variables like um, race environment test, the name for the database and so on. And also I need to install some dependencies like Node.js and check what's, what's the installed version of the Ruby. And I install the uh, gems for my project and after all I need to set up the data create a database and set up the schema for my DB uh, and the very important part is a script where you define what kind of tests will be executed on the CI so I use the gem knapsack pro to run my R spec tests and this Snapsack Pro gem uses a Q mode, which will be distributing tests in dynamic way across parallel jobs on GitLab CI. Thanks to that, uh, each parallel job will finish work at the similar time, and there would be no bottleneck. For instance, when one of the runners, GitLab runners, will be busy and will start work too late, or will be occupied by a different CI build. Uh, those available GitLab runners would execute your tests and consume more tests, while those uh, tests, uh, GitLab runners that would start work later would just run less tests or no tests if they would start work very late. So some people are using GitLab CI uh, as a software as a service uh, option. So basically GitLab would run runners for you. Other people are just using GitLab runners installed on their own infrastructure and you have full control over the uh, server servers that are running your tests. Um, yeah, so this is a basic, basic example for the Ruby on Rails project. The similar example would be for JavaScript project. Uh, I, will, I will talk about it a bit later, but let's jump to the uh, CI configuration. What else we need to set is in settings for your project, you need to go to the settings, then CI. And here on the list of, con uh, of configuration for your project, you could find variables, expand this. And here you can set the uh, variable called knapsack protest suite token rspec. And here you need to paste the uh, the API token that you can generate at at knapsackpro.com so you can visit uh, this website and just sign up here uh, yeah and as you can see this uh, knapsack pro 2 uh, supports test runner in ruby like rspec mini test cucumber and so on in javascript supports cypress for end-to-end -end testing and jest for unit testing so yeah, when you have this API token set here, ensure this is masked, uh, uh, this is enabled here, so it won't be revealed in the logs output for your test suite. And then you can jump to, to the pipeline tab, CI pipeline, and here you can see the list of all your CI builds. You can open one of, the, of, the, of your builds and as you can see, this pipeline was uh, executing RSpec tests across two parallel nodes. So this is the first node and the second node, and I can open them. And as you can see, uh, this first uh, parallel job took 2 minutes uh, 53 seconds, and the second job took almost similar time as you can see so the tests were distributed in dynamic way across those two parallel jobs and thanks to that uh, you have um, there's no bottleneck in your CI pipeline everything is executed as fast as possible and you get the results about your test suite um, quick yeah so 
this is the the idea behind the dynamic test field split that's possible with knapsack pro uh, and the full list of test runners uh, can be found in the documentation on the integration page here get started and here you could find the uh, installation guide for 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 your test runner and yeah hope i hope this would be helpful for you so i encourage you to just visit knapsackpro.com and check other videos one of the uh, useful video might be about the q mode how it works exactly mm -hmm. i will uh, i will attach link down below uh, so you can also see this video about q mode mm -hmm. uh, so feel free to sign up and get uh, you can also get in touch with me by, uh, by talking over the intercom chat and there is in top right bottom there is uh, chat online so you can feel free to ask me any question uh, i hope this would be helpful for you and allows you to run your gitlab ci tests much faster and save your team a lot of engineering time so you could focus on what's important which is features important for your users um yeah so thank you for watching and have a nice day